What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue working on the 2018 Subaru WRX and in the previous episode on this build we got this donor quarter panel all mocked up and ready to go and then we started tacking it on and ran out of welding gas but today we're ready to roll with it again and we did actually take it off one more time. We had to tighten up this door gap right here. It looks a lot better now and then we also went ahead and added a back plate right here on this seam and on the lower seam right there we got all the spot welds cleaned up and all those are ready to go so let's go ahead and fire up the welder and put in some work Guys, so I think our control arm came in. Let's go ahead and unbox this sucker. Yes, sir. Here it is, guys. Looks the same to me. Probably going to go ahead and install it and see how that wheel is sitting.
How's it looking? It's looking mighty fine. Now my first layer is down right here. This is looking a little bad and rough, but I'm about to throw a second layer. Coming along good, dude. Smooth everything up, yes sir. Get some primer down, and then we could probably paint the door jams, yeah? Trim those out. Yes sir, trim the door jams out. Just keep moving along, dude. Pass inspection and get, the, get it done. So this is actually a damage that the driver did because I contacted the guy who sold it to me and he was just extremely, he was apologetic and basically gave me $100 off. So I got this quarter panel for $300, it was a steal. Got the good old fashioned cardboard box, you know, I think you buggered up the mixing board. I couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah, why don't you order another one? I'm all, I'm always ordering all the supplies around here, yeah, but it, got too much here. it's back there in the bag. It's in the paint room though, but you really need a mask to apply some body filler. Oh yeah, this stuff is dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. I'm being serious. If you read the, the, the label, it's cancer. It's one of the main things. Oh yeah, slick it in this time. Oh, for sure, dude. This is some high quality Bondo right here. It lays down real nice. About $80. Nah, more like 60. I bought it. Nah, uh, he got it, guys. <laughs> Looking pretty good right there. My question is, what? Well, why are there scratches all the way down here? You should have threw some tape on that, but I guess that whole pillar is gonna get painted either way. Primer will take care of it. <laughs> Gotta take care of this damage. Don't we have some damage right here? Yeah, I actually forgot about it, but you know, you can't do all that. You can't, you can't do all of them at once, you know? You gotta take your time with it to make sure it's right the first time. But we pretty much got all the spot welds, Got some filler on all those. That right there down there is looking kind of rough. Yeah, that right there, I have to do it with my finger every single time. There's not... There's just a bunch of ridges, yeah? There's a bunch of ridges and you can't really get in there with the... But man, this quarter panel's on there for good now. This is like the only spot I can get right here. And the top, I guess if you cut your little spatula in half, you can do it, but where's that? That sucks, cause... Dang, I didn't know you can apply body filler with your fingers. <laughs> I mean, when you can't get to it, what do you expect, you know? Yeah, I'm just messing. All that's gonna get sanded out either way, so... I'm trying to get it as smooth as possible, you know? Yes, sir. Shoot, did I get some right here? Nah, you're good. I thought I hit that. What about anywhere else? Just keep moving, dude. Don't worry about it. Like I said, this stuff is dangerous. This stuff is dangerous. Ranger danger. Let's get low down here. Oh, you still gotta apply it down there too. Oh yeah, you don't remember the seam? Oh, I remember the cut. But man, once we get that control arm on, we could pretty much take this thing to inspection, you know, like drive it there. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Or you can have a state guy come out to the house, but we're probably just gonna take it in. It's a lot quicker. I think you called them about it today, right? Yeah, I did. They were uh they actually wanted me to bring it bring it in today. I was like, I'm not ready. Not ready, but it's always good to go ahead and schedule your appointment early. I remember running in with that on the GMC, like they pushed us out three weeks and once you're like ready and got all the paperwork, you know, it kind of delays the build. So you always gotta keep ahead of the schedule and that's how you move right along. Oh yeah, what's it looking like? Pretty smooth or what? 
It's looking pretty smooth. Just need to sand all that down. And I guess tomorrow it should be ready for some primer. So check this out guys, we've got all the body work done on the quarter panel and the final glaze coat is nice and smooth. My fingers are bloody tired. There was just a lot of finger sanding since we have so many ridges and grooves on this rocker, but I'm super happy with the progress and how everything's come along. We also took care of this damage on the door post. We got it popped out from the inside as much as we could. And then we slapped a very light coat of glazing and now all that's ready for some primer. We got the car back here in the primer slash paint room. We're gonna go ahead and take this wheel off so we can shoot some primer under there. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and use some seam sealer, try to replicate this OEM stuff on this tail light socket. Hopefully that goes pretty smooth. And then we'll tape the car up and we'll be ready for some primer. Got everything nice and smooth with the seam sealed. Man, it is ready for that primer. What do you say? Yeah, we're ready to go. We didn't really tape it up too good, but for the primer, it will do just right. We're gonna go ahead and 
just slick it in, and then it's just going to be a breeze after that. Just you want to sand the door jams and stuff like that. Oh yeah, paint it in. We're moving right along, guys. Right along. Nice and thick. This will, cover, this will cover up all the imperfections. That's why I like using it out of the primer gun instead of using the rattle can primer. Oh yeah, for sure. And it hardens a lot better, so. 24 hours and we can start sanding it. Yes, sir. It's not absolutely perfect, but for a majority of it, Oh yeah, I did wipe it down, but I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna go do it one more time real quick. Then I guess you need to put some uh, paper right here on that edge so it doesn't go on the undercarriage, you know? Yeah. Some of that green paper, quick. Check this out, man, everything laid down nice and smooth. Probably gonna go ahead and untape this thing and give it a nice clean on the inside because all that body work left a big mess. Yeah, I'm ready to get all that dust out of there. Oh yeah, props to him, man, hooking me up with a slick primer job, man. Everything turned out smooth, you can't even tell, dude. Mad respect, oh yeah, dude. Other than right here, I mean, look at what we did with the seam sealer. <laughs> we kind of laid a fat, Bead, bead, yeah, I mean, it's all going to get covered up. The only people who are going to know that's down there is us and whoever takes the bumper off, you know, in the future. And, of course, you guys. Big shout-out to you guys for supporting. 
But yeah, probably gonna go ahead and untape the car right now and do a nice little cleanup and then shoot. Basically wrap this video up, what do you say? So that's a wrap for today. I know it probably doesn't look like a lot of work in the episode, but it was very tedious and time consuming work and I'm super happy with the progress. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and paint the door jam, trim out the doors, and probably take care of some more body dings on the doors, but that's light work. Everything else is gonna be a breeze from here. So if you did enjoy the episode, be sure to drop a like. Also give us a follow on Instagram at danny.tv. Drop any suggestions you have down below. Thanks for watching, peace out.